What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel once again and welcome back to episode 4 of TSGG's Indie Adventures. In this video we're going to focus on what remains of Edith Finch. This is a little bit of a weird one so I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, we're getting back on track this week after last Friday we were busy with our Children's Miracle Network um, Extra Life event for the local college. We went out there and helped them out so I did miss a posting but we're going to get back on track this week. So as always if you enjoy leave a like and subscribe and have an awesome week. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's dive into What Remains of Edith Finch by Giant Sparrow. Uh, this one is actually categorized as a narrative story-driven game in which you play through the uh, the kind of lives, li life and death scenarios, I guess, of the Finch family. Uh, you play as Edith as you experience each of your family members' death and try and figure out why she is the final Finch left standing. Um, basically, how it goes is as you play through each and every one of the family members, you will kind of play through the final day of their lives, all ending or climaxing with their deaths. Uh, so it's a very different game. It's definitely not something you would have experienced before, um, but we're going to break it down, tell you why I think you should play it, why it's a very fun kind of art arty game that is beautiful um, uh, as always it's got the indie art style but I'm gonna break it down for you with the template as we always do I hope you enjoy the video it's gonna be a little bit different I did kind of skip the the posting last week because I wanted to get this one out there it's just a very fun game and I have enjoyed it with kind of the weird factors and things like that um, as you can see with the background gameplay we picked one of the weirdest stories to show you guys because it is, it's just such a fun game and it's very enjoyable. Um, but let's start it anyway. I'm kind of rambling on here. Let's get into, first of all, Fun Factor and Emergence. Uh, this game, this just, you're playing the final day of a person who you know eventually dies and it's it's just so cool it's such a cool concept that they the giant sparrow created with this one um, i was very happy to see this come up on game pass because it was one that i was interested in beforehand and i did want to uh, post it on here so it is also another one of our doubles where it is game pass and it is also in indie adventure um, so if you're if you have game pass definitely check it out it's a fun probably two hours of gameplay total i think the whole game is one gigabyte uh, it's very small it's quick but it is very fun and enjoyable. So, I mean, that actually helps for me for the fun factor and emergence. This isn't a game that takes forever. You, you can complete the whole game in two hours, every single kind of storyline. Uh, there's not really a lot of replayability or anything there. It's just a really fun kind of weird game that lets you experience your family's deaths, I guess, in, in, as Edith Finch. Um, so it's, it's a very cool concept that you don't really, there's not really a comparable game out there for this. Um, it's hard to really talk about the kind of fun factor of it without giving too much away. Even the story, the content behind it, my voice that you're seeing is kind of its story. I mean, there's two hours in the game. There's not a lot of content outside of the story. Um, control and gameplay mechanics, it's it's <laughs> it's two hours long. There's not, there's not really a lot here going on. Um, it is a narrative-driven story game. This is the whole point of the game is to kind of enjoy what you're reading, what you're watching, and it's beautiful artistically. It's just control and gameplay mechanics-wise, there's not a lot going on. The whole point of the story is, in fact, the eventual and kind of faded death that you cannot avoid, and th that kind of leaves it... I mean, I guess, in a way, that is a gameplay mechanic, so... Very cool, very out there, very different, not anything you can compare to another game very enjoyable the art and the kind of storytelling in this game are just second to none and it is a very very fun game uh, moving on from there graphics i guess i got a little bit into and sidetracked uh the graphics of the game are very pretty if you watch uh you can actually watch videos online or watch you can see it right here with the story that we picked here um this is one of the weirder ones so don't expect anything like this but with the kind of art style of the dream that's going on here the nightmare i guess is what it would be you can see just how much detail is in it how colorful it is bright and just kind of comic book-esque i guess is the best way to put it it's just <laughs> this game is weird guys it's it's but weird in a very good way it's weird in the sense that there's not another game like this and there probably won't be another game like this because it is a very niche market. I mean, I can't imagine that everybody's going to enjoy the game because of the weird factor and it's just out there and different. And it's not exactly a shooter or what's popular in or in right now, I guess. Uh, but story-wise, it's beautiful. Artistic-wise, it's just, it's, it's 
incredible. Um, and it's definitely worth the two hours it takes, especially if you have Game Pass and it's free on Game Pass. And on Xbox, I'm looking at it right now, it's $16 today uh, on sale. So even if you don't have Game Pass, it's worth the $16. I mean, if you break that down really into the gameplay, it's, it's about $8 an hour. And I'm going to be honest with you, there's not really better $8 you can spend to have an hour this enjoyment it's just so cool um honestly some of these stories i was a little bit uh like well i didn't see that coming i knew my character had to die but i didn't exactly expect it that way uh so it, it really did make the game fun and enjoyable um moving on from there the music and sound another impressive feat especially for an indie game so the the way that they kind of work the music in and the sound and the kind of um you feel in the moment inside this game. You feel the kind of tension or basically you know that each character you're playing is going to die and you can feel that tension build up as the music does with the story that you're playing as you continue on through each family member. Um, so it's it's really well done and especially with an indie where you don't exactly see the music side of things come out as much, you usually do have very pretty art. But as far as the actual music side of things, it does, a few games have done it very well, but on the indie side of things, they usually do tend to be on the kind of more bland or, or kind of vanilla, I guess is the best way to put it, um, scores. But this one was, it really went with the game. It really put you in the moment and made you feel the tension of knowing your death was impending. And that's kind of really what this game is about. And it was very, very enjoyable. Um, I talk, I touched on the story and replayability. I know I do this every single week. I talk about the story ahead of time. Um, replayability wise, it doesn't change. So there's not really too much there. You know, ahead of time that your characters die. And as far as that goes, it's, it just lends itself to really enjoying the story as it is. And it's not really going to be different through replays. So that for that reason, you can't really give it a high replayability value, I guess. Um, but I guess being as short as it is, you can really take your time with it and go back through it if you wanted, or you, you would probably see multiple details that you feel like you missed beforehand, especially with like the comic book style that they go through. Um, so I guess as far as that goes, you would most likely see new details if you went through it again. Um, and in two hours, <laughs> that's not really a big time ex or kind of time investment that you have to put into it to complete it so it's definitely there to go back through and really just check for details make sure you're hitting everything make sure you're noticing everything that's going on because as a whole what it is it's kind of a mystery game so you you will definitely see clues and hints and things to kind of the lore of the game i guess is the best way to put it that really you might miss if you're not paying more attention or if you don't go back through it a few times so it, it is very enjoyable the story is just so cool it, it's especially if you enjoy like mysteries or or kind of the suspenseful thrillers i guess because you know that each character is going to die you know every family member you know that edith finch is the final finch and you're trying to figure out why that is so the story is really just beautiful it narrative wise it's just well done and the art style is just there's no comparing it to really anything else i guess uh into the spider verse is the best comparison for some of the things here and that's beautiful as well um but that's all i've got for you i hope you guys do enjoy this this was a fun one for me it was a very enjoyable game and i got to actually play through the whole thing which isn't one that i can do with every one of these games uh having to pick one out each and every week uh for this one and the game pass gold series so i hope you guys do enjoy it if you do leave a like and subscribe as always and let me know in the comments what you did think or if you noticed things that i might not have noticed about the story uh let me know